Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to my new video. I continue topic of decentralized applications platforms. In previous video I talked about Lisk and today I will focus on Stratis. Stratis is yet another alternative to Ethereum, which instead of Solidity uses C Sharp as programming language for decentralized applications. Stratis uses proof of stake environment friendly consensus algorithm. And today in this video I'll show you how to stake Stratis at home on your Raspberry Pi 3. Raspberry Pi 3 is fully functioning single board computer that costs approximately $35. From raspberrypi.org website I have downloaded and installed on my Raspberry Pi 3 Model B operating system Raspbian Stretch with desktop. I like to work with graphical interface, so I chose desktop edition over light edition. Here is how Raspbian desktop looks like. I have also installed several tools like VNC server and team viewer for remote connection. And now we have to prepare our Raspberry Pi 3 Model B for Stratis taken. Let's begin with Raspbian configuration. The first thing you need to do is to change Raspberry Pi password. You can do that in configuration menu Raspberry Pi configuration. Click change password. Default password is Raspberry and it is well known and may be used by hackers in order to steal your coins. If you want to avoid this, please enter new password here and click OK. Now we need update operating system. So let's open terminal. Let's make a wider screen and type sudo apt get update. So this command will update our list of repositories. So this may take a while. And the second command we will run upgrade. So it's sudo up get upgrade. This command may take 20 to 30 minutes to complete. So let's click yes. And our Raspberry Pi is being updated. Once upgrade is finished successfully, by the way. We need to restart our Raspberry Pi, so let's click Shutdown and Reboot. Once Raspberry Pi 3 rebooted, we need to take care of security. Actually, we need two things. First, we need to enable SSH protocol if you plan to connect Raspberry Pi through terminal. You can do that in Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configurations and Interfaces. Just simply click Enable SSH and because I use virtual network connection I also enabled VNC and click OK. And the second scene we need to set up firewall. Let's download it. Open terminal sudo apt get install ufw. This is actually Debian terminal. Oh, sorry. Typo. Let's fix that. apt get install ufw. Okay, now we are installing terminal. Once terminal is installed, we need to add some rules. Because Raspberry Pi 3 is in my home network, so I'll simply restrict access from outside of my home network. So let's type sudo ufw allow from and my home network address 196.169.1.1. One zero is 24-bit mask. Let's hit enter. 
Okay, and the second rule, we need to disable Stratis RPC port. So let's type sudo ufw deny 16.174 and let's hit enter. We have actually skipped adding this rule because it's already added. So let's enable firewall sudo ufw enable firewall is enabled and let's let's check its status status here we see a list of our rules actually we have disabled stratis rpc port and we allowed access from our home network now we can install Stratis and compile it from a source code. In this video I will compile Stratis Qt. But firstly, before we download source code, we have to install some prerequisites and dependencies. So let's copy this and paste long command. This command will actually install build essential tools, how to make git, g++ and some other libraries which are required for Stratis Qt compilation. So let's hit enter and click yes. So this also may take a while to complete. Once installation is complete, we can download git repository of Stratis source code. Make sure you are in home directory is home pi and let's clone repository git clone and url of stratis x repository hit enter and let's wait for cloning now we can begin compilation so let's change directory to stratis x as you see there are some files so firstly let's run command qmake qmake command has created set of instructions for our system to know how to build qt wallet now we need to compile it with make command let's hit make and typically this command takes 30 to 40 minutes to complete. Well, compilation failed and we have an error cannot convert const cbignum to const bignum. Actually, it is very common error for Raspbian stretch and I'll show you how to fix that. We need simply different version of flip SSL dev library. So let's remove current version. sudo apt get remove flip SSL dev. Yes. Okay, removed. Now we need to change repositories list. Let's paste new command. sudo nano is editor and list of our sources. And actually instead of stretch, we need type jesse. Jesse. That's all. Let's exit, save, yes. We have changed list of repositories from stretch to jesse version. Now let's update this list. sudo apt get update in order to apply jesse. As you see we have jesse instead of stretch. Okay, let's wait some time to complete. And finally, let's install Jesse's version of libssl dev. I'll paste this command sudo apt get install libssl dev and hit enter. OK, 
okay common uh, library is installed and we have to edit sources list again in order to return to stretch instead of Jesse. So let's remove Jesse and type stretch. Control X, save, yes. Okay, we are in Stratis X directory still and we can run command make again. Hopefully this command will complete successfully. Finally, once compilation complete, you can run Stratis Qt. So let's run it. Stratis Qt. We have some graphical interface here. So currently it is loading block index. So probably it may it may take some time. Voila! Here is our Stratis wallet. But firstly, let's encrypt it. So let's add, create some passphrase. Call it passphrase. Passphrase. Click OK. Let's confirm wallet encryption. Oops, that passwords don't match. Let's create new. Okay. Okay, Stratis Windows will close to complete encryption process. Okay, let's let's wait for it. And restart Stratis Qt. After launch we need unlock our Stratis, you see wallet is encrypted and currently locked. So let's go to settings and unlock. Let's type our passphrase and click for staking only. Okay. Now wallet is unlocked but staking is disabled. Oh, we need to wait for synchronization of course. And actually, yes, staking is disabled because we don't have mature coins. Now we need to send some coins to our Stratis wallet. But before we do that, let's make a backup of our wallet. Our wallet resides in Stratis. Let's look at dot Stratis directory. As you see here is our wallet.file. I have also my wallet where actually I make staking and but I renamed it for purpose of this video. So copy this wallet.file somewhere in secure place where you can restore it if something happens to your Raspberry Pi 3. And in order to receive coins here is your Stratis address, send coins from exchange or whatever wallet you have and you may start staking here. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!